When we think of food poisoning, we often think of undercooked meat and seafood, but hardly we ever hear about the culprit being cooked rice, which can be a breeding ground for harmful bacteria. Joining us to shed light on the hidden risks associated with this beloved grain is Mary Jo Turner, oncology dietitian for the Medical University of South Carolina. Mary Jo, thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. So there recently has been a surge of, you know, restaurants that are causing illness and the culprit seems to be the cooked rice. What bacteria is causing this? Uh, the bacteria is called Bacillus cereus and it's pretty common with rice. Okay. Especially at a raw state. Is it common in uncooked rice or cooked rice? It is common in uncooked rice, but it um, doesn't activate until it's cooked. Okay, and is it like all rice or is there a certain you know type of not rice? Not all types of rice, like wild rice is not uh, inclusive, but brown and, and white rice, which is pretty common in our kitchens is, is very um, common. Okay, so it's not harmful when it's uncooked. Yeah. It starts becoming harmful when it's cooked. So. Is it how the rice is stored? Is that the problem? It is, it is. Once we get our, our rice cooked and we eat it for the first time, it usually stays within over 140 degrees. Mm -hmm. It's when we are finished eating and we either leave it on the table too long or in the kitchen uh, that it starts percolating. So the danger zone for food safety is between uh, 41 degrees and 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And so anything between that, whether, you know, the cold under one, the cold under 41, the hot over 140 um, is the safety zone. So anything in between that bacteria can, can um, start to happen. It can take around four hours to accumulate bacteria enough to make somebody sick. Okay. And, and I've heard, you know, people say, oh, you know, we can just reheat it on the pan in this scenario would that be beneficial at all it would have to get over the degree of one of 165 fahrenheit to be safe and you really don't want to use rice too many times after that okay so how can we avoid this from happening is there a window of time um you know if leftover rice it, how can we avoid from getting sick from this Right. The safest way is to, once you're finished eating, to put the rice in a container and put it in the refrigerator um, so it can start slowly getting to a colder temperature and safe. Most of our refrigerators are under 40 degrees, so but letting it sit out at room temperature is certainly going to put you in harm's way. Okay. Is there any way to tell if the rice is, is affected by this bacteria? Sadly, it's not detectable by vision, smell, or taste. So it really is um, undetectable. Okay, so it's better to always assume that it might be there than to cross our fingers and hope. Correct. Okay. Correct. And now, usually with food poisoning, you know, it's 24 hours of no fun. Um, when is the threshold of we need to go and see a doctor? Is it, you know, the 48 hour time period of not getting better? Right. Well, they say the onset starts between one hour and six hours for this particular um, uh, bacillus cereus. Mm -hmm. um, and it usually lasts 24 hours. So I would say anything after 24 hours to 36 hours, if you're not able to stay hydrated to get any type of sips, because with the vomiting and diarrhea being excessive, mm -hmm. it's a lot of fluid loss. Okay. And so I would say probably 36 hours. And ones that are immune compromised probably sooner. If they're like cancer patients going through radiation or chemo, or they've got HIV or um, organ transplants, probably within that 24 hour. Okay, and now is this bacteria found in any other types of food? The Bacillus cereus is found in the soil. So not only rice, but potatoes, and grains that make pastas. Okay. And some starchy like like gravies or, or things that you cook with can also cause or start with the bacillus cereus. So this protocol of, you know, making sure that we put the leftovers in the fridge, that should be followed with any type of grain? Yes. Okay. 
Okay, wonderful. Well, Mary Jo, thank you so much for you know giving insight on this topic. I did not know that rice could be so harmful, so I will definitely ensure that I you know put my leftovers in the fridge you know as soon as I can. Thank you so much. Sure. You're welcome. We're back after this.